Anna Fustok, and this is going to be the second class in a series of five from the classic mat work. And we're going to be um, doing some of the same exercises, well, doing all the same exercises we did last time and adding on some of the more difficult ones also. So we'll start again with the 100, and that is our warm-up exercise in the mat. It's to really start circling the blood, getting everything pumping, and also warm up all the major muscle groups. Um, so we're going to have the knees together, ankles together, and again the arms are nice and long by their sides. And you know the breathing is just natural, you're going to try to breathe in nice and deep into the sides and back of the ribs and exhale as much air out as you can. And all the exercise will help you to breathe deeper as we go along. Good. So your choices for the 100 are to keep the feet down on the mat or you can squeeze your stomach in and up, lift one leg up and deeper the stomach and lift the other leg up and bring the legs to this tabletop. And then later on, when you get really strong, you can even lift the legs there, but we'll keep them still bent today. Good, so pulling the stomach in and up, so we're having that belly button going down in the spine and up underneath the rib cage as much as we can. We're gonna lengthen the neck and reach the arms far, 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 far as we're coming up. Good, so we want the shoulders down in the back, even though we're trying to curve up over the bra strap. Good, and we're gonna start pumping the arms. Inhaling two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five, and in through the nose, and out. Good, and in two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three. So the arms are pumping the blood all the way around through the whole body. Good, that's 50, and inhaling to the sides and back of the ribs, and exhale deep in the stomach. Squeeze that belly in and up. Good, and inhale. If you start to get tired in the neck, you can have a rest at any time. Good, and exhale, good. And we have 30 more. Keep pumping vigorously with the arms, because this is your warm up for the mat work. Good, that's it, and exhale, good. 20 more. Keeping the same rhythm of the pumps, trying to have equal arm pumping with both arms the same. Good, last one, into the air and out with the air and hold, squeeze your stomach a little more and rest your head down. Good, very nice. So then we're gonna bring the legs down and in the beginning, if your back is especially a little delicate, bring one leg at a time so then you can have the stomach pulling in and up better and then the other leg down. Good, place your feet down and you can walk them a little bit more away so they're not too close to you, good. Now, reach your shoulders down and your back, lengthen your arms, Feel like you're stretching through your fingers and reach out and up with your arms. As the arms come here, we're gonna make sure that the rib cage stays down, the back is nice and long, and we're gonna reach up and back. Good, and we're not gonna go and drop the arms, so go ahead and show that that will look, because that will just lift the ribs up like this. So you're gonna keep the ribs down and keep the arms reaching out through there. Good, so this keeps the stomach short and the length comes through the back. Good, so we're gonna come into the roll up. So we're gonna lift the arms up, we're gonna reach those fingers there, pulling the shoulders down, lift the head up from the stomach, and then lower the arms and roll up. Now you can grab still here to roll yourself up into sitting. Good, go ahead and put your legs a little further, Lila. good. And we're gonna roll back. So you're gonna go through the lower back, pulling the stomach in and up. And when you get your head down, go ahead and reach your arms up and making sure we keep the rib cage connected, we're gonna reach the arms down. Good, and arms come up. Big breath, now exhale all your air out as your ribs come in. So this helps you to empty those lungs and you can again grab hold, use your biceps opening the arms out to the side. Good, and we roll back down. So deep in the lower stomach to really scoop, that's it, and all the way down and arms come up. Good, if you don't need the help with your arms under, you can try to come up without the help of the arms. So you reach the arms a little lower as the head comes up and then you're gonna exhale all your air and reach, good. Very nice. And we go back down, scooping through the lower stomach, squeeze your bottom nice and tight, and bring the arms up, rib cage connected, and up and over. We'll do two more. And arms up, head through the window of the arms, and exhale, squeeze your tummy. Now keep the stomach working here, so you're still scooping your stomach in and up. And we're gonna start rolling down, take a deep breath, and then exhale, finish it all the way down. Beautiful, and one more time. So lift the arms up, and exhale. Good, all the way up. So this time we're gonna stay here, and we're gonna straighten the legs all the way in the front. Just go ahead and just slide them there, and flex your feet, good. And reach your arms like you were finishing. Because later on we'll do this roll up, 
with the arm leg straight. Now keep reaching your arms forward, keep reaching your heels forward and flex the feet. Good. Now the head drops down through the window of the arms and your goal is again to get the top of the head towards the knees. Now we're not relaxing here so I want her to pull her stomach in and up so the back lengthens and we're not shortening so just collapse the leg in and just like yeah thank you and then she's going to pull her stomach in and up and that lengthens her back good and she's going to stretch a little more pulling the stomach back and the legs and arms forward for a good stretch good and then we're going to bend the knees if you need to and we're going to roll back down so we're slowly adding it adding on to make the exercise a little bit more what we want it to be later. Good, let's do that one more time. Arms come up, head comes up, and reach with the arms and pull your stomach in, good, and straighten the legs and keep curving. Good, now lift the stomach in and up, keeping the shoulders down, head down, and try to reach as much length out of your feet and your arms, now pull the stomach back like you're having a little fight with yourself, pulling and scooping in and up, good. And we bend the knees and we we'll slide back down. Good, and with this time, we're going to stay all the way down. Good. So that's your roll up. Good. So let's go into the single leg circle next. So just pull your right knee into your chest. Good. Now, just give it a little hug and a stretch. So you can still keep the, the supporting leg bent, or you can straighten it. So if you have the flexibility later on, this is what we want. We're going to flex if the foot is down. We're going to flex that foot, and this is your standing foot. So you're going to stretch through the hip, and then you're going to still try to keep the hips nice and square. Good. Stretch the leg up to the ceiling and just give yourself a stretch by holding here. Good. We'll do a few extra stretches here because all of us need a bit of hamstring stretching. So flex the foot and really push the heel up. Good. Hold a little bit under. We don't want to hold behind the knee because knee is a bit delicate. So hold either on your thigh or on your calf. Now making sure that you try to really press the thigh into your hands. Yeah. So it straightens the knee actually. Joseph Pilates used to say knees locked. It doesn't mean hyperextended, it just knees that we're not really kind of softening in the knee and bending because we really want to stretch that hamstring. So she's going to feel it a lot more if the, the thigh is pushing away as she's flexing the foot, right? And point. Good. And again, flex the foot and point the foot. Good. And flex the foot, push the heel up, push your thigh into your hand and point the foot. One more time. Flex the foot and point the foot. Now let's just do a couple of circles one way with the ankle, really big, yeah, like you're stirring in a big bucket your foot, yeah, and then go ahead the other way, really nice, still pushing the thigh away, pulling it in to give a good stretch, and then we're going to just leave nice long relaxed toes up to the ceiling, and press your hands down by your side, so she has the hamstring flexibility, but if this is too much for you, you can just go ahead and bend the knee. So she's going to try it here. So pull the stomach in and up, reach the arms down and keep your ribcage down. And she's going to do up, cross, down and lift her circle five times. And four more. Up, cross, down and lift. Good. Up, cross, down and lift. Three, two more. Up, cross, down and lift. Pulling the stomach into the floor. Up, cross, down and lift. We reverse five times. So trying to get the leg to come closer, nose first. Open a little bit to the side and cross the body. Good. As she's doing the circle, she's trying to really stabilize with the standing leg, sending lots of energy here. So this is working all harder than the right leg, hopefully. So squeeze that right bottom, uh, left bottom and press it down. Good. Two more. And cross it over. Last one. And cross it over. Good. Bend the knee and you can slide that one down. Very nice. Okay, so pull the left knee into your chest. Give it a hug. Again, just reminding you about the concept of the box. So we're trying to get the body to work very uniformly. So we don't want the hips to be twisting and tilting. So she's going to try to keep the hip nice and square by pulling this left hip down. Okay? So then she's going to stretch the leg and hold the thigh. And the knee wants to bend. We want to try to straighten it out. Yeah, so really pushing into your thigh. So hold firmly with your hands and push your thigh away even when your arms are pulling it in. Again, the option is to keep the knee still bent on the supporting leg, um, especially if your back tries to arch off the mat too much. But if you're quite flexible, go ahead and straighten it and flex this to hook it in, and that leg is right in the center. Good. Now, really stand the thigh really long. Yeah, flex the foot and point the foot. Mm -hmm. And flex the foot and point the foot. And flex the foot and point the foot. Just one more. Flex the foot and point. Let's do four circles one way trying to keep the thigh still and just stir the ankle. We don't get enough work on those feet. They're always stuffed in their shoes. Other way. 
and ankles are really important. We're going to keep that nice mobility. Mm -hmm. And keep the foot reaching up now. Again, there's a little turnout on the socket. Mm -hmm. And she's going to let go and try to keep that leg reaching up. Just like we talked about the two-way stretch, the leg is reaching, the stomach is pulling, this is reaching, and this rib cage is down. Arms reaching long, we're going to take it up, cross down and lift one. Up, cross down and lift two. She's going to try to really keep that right leg pressing down on the floor to stand on it. And when she brings the leg up, she's going to try to keep the hip down on this side and lift. Good. And last one. So let's go ahead and do it to the other side. Out down cross and lift good so this exercise is trying to really make sure you can stabilize with that powerhouse so that we don't start to do a little lambada as we do in these circles here one more so hip stay still use the strength and stretch good and bend the knee and go ahead and place it down good so next we're doing the exercise called rowing like a ball so we're going to bend the knees a little and we're going to come and roll up so you're going to have a lift the head and roll all the way to sitting. Beautiful. So, gonna try to pull the hips back a little bit again into a little C curve. So pull a little bit backwards like you wanted to start rolling, but then you stop. So we get the bottom under, good. And then you're gonna hold onto your thighs and we're gonna pick up one foot off the floor and try to balance it. Now, very important that your back doesn't straighten as you pull the second leg out and lift the other leg. Now this might be enough for you at home already and you might want to just stay here and try to balance. And your goal is to feel like you're pulling your stomach away from your thighs and getting some more space between your hip bones and your thighs. So really pull the hip bones away, hip bones away to get the lower back round while you're still thinking forward and over with your bra, yeah, the bra strap and your head. Good. So we're going to rock like this. We're going to rock it back if we can. And then we're going to come straight back up and we hold, two, three, and we're going to go back and we're going to try to hold it here without putting the legs down on the floor. And again, go back and up. Good. That's it. And keep trying to make that nice and small ball. Good. That's it. Really nice. Good. In the beginning, if this is really hard and your back is really tight, we can make the big ball a bit bigger, so pull a bit more away. Yeah. And Push more your thighs into your hands as you're pulling a little bit into you, like a little bit, yeah. And now lift up the legs again, so making the circle a bit bigger and try to roll like this. So this is going to be a little easier if your back is really tight to keep more space. Good. And later we make this ball nice and small. Good. We're still trying to not to go too much onto the neck, so go back and come straight back up. Good. One more time. Pull the stomach back all the way, nice and round in the lower back. So you can massage that spine and go ahead and place your feet down. If you're in a short mat like us, just pop your bottom with, into the middle, more or less, <laughs> and roll all the way down. Yeah, good. And bend your knees back in. Lovely. Okay, so the next one is the uh, abdominal series and we'll be adding some exercise to this one. We'll do the ones we did in the first class, which is your single leg pull first. So pull the right knee into your chest. Good, give it a hug. And then deepen the stomach, always lifting the legs up from the stomach and lift the other leg up. Nice, good. All right, so again, anytime your neck starts to bother you, just put your head down. So you're gonna lengthen the neck and lift your head and shoulders up, good. So the left hand is gonna cross over and grab hold of your right knee, okay, or just a little. And the right hand is gonna come onto your ankle. And this is again to keep the alignment with the ankle, knee and hip, we don't wanna twist the leg. The left leg is going to shoot up towards the ceiling with a little turnout on the hip again, and you can lower it down to maximum 45. Now the back stays flat, stomach stays scooped, and she's going to really reach the leg with her two-way stretch and pull the stomach in and up underneath her ribcage, and we're going to swap. And the left hand into the ankle, beautiful, and we swap. Mm -hmm. Good. And we reach the leg and pull the other one, so we call this single leg pull. Good. And reach and pull. Again, if your knees are delicate, then you're going to just have a little less pulling in and a bit less knee. And, yeah, so just go ahead and do that way so that we don't pull. Yeah, and perfect. And one more set. And outside ankle. Good. And outside ankle. And now we're going to pull both knees into your chest after this one and go ahead and rest your head. We'll take breaks in the beginning. Good. And just turn your head side to side if your neck gets a bit tight. 
Good. So we worked on the double leg stretch in the first class, so we're going to put that again together. So we're going to lift the head and shoulders back up. And first thing I want you to do is just reach your arms and your legs into my hands. So reach your arms here and the legs here, and then really try to touch my hands. So really pull the stomach in and reach, and exhale, make a small ball, hug your ankles. Mm -hmm. Good. Reach up. Good. Stretch from your back. Now pull the stomach in in the middle, and exhale, pull the ankles in. And again, so you're reaching as far as you can. You don't have to even go this much. You can even reach a bit forward if you're feeling it in your neck and pull it all in. Good. Three more. Lift and in. Good. Now, so when you shoot the legs out in the air, can you squeeze your bottom and wrap your heels together, toes apart for me? Yeah. And pull it in. So we want a bit of turnout. And lift. Squeeze your bottom. Reach. And come all the way in. And that's enough. We can rest the head down. Good. So later on, we'll put bigger circles and we make it into a full double leg, but that's enough for now. Good. And then we're going to do the single straight leg. So you can go ahead and just straighten the legs up to the ceiling. Yeah. Now, grab hold behind the right leg wherever you can with both hands. Good. And what you're going to do is you're going to climb up on that leg with your head lifting up wherever you can, and then the other leg is going to reach down to 45. We don't want to drop it down because it's going to otherwise just arch your back too much. Now, same thing like we did in the stretch. I try to take the kink out of the knee by her pushing away with that leg. So go ahead and push into my thigh. Yes. So while you're pulling with your arms out to the side, push the thigh away so this is really stretching the knee straight. And this leg is reaching and the stomach in the middle pulling. This is nice. And now we're going to swap legs using the stomach. Yep. And go ahead and hold that. Good. Again, you can do this with the head down on the floor. Pull the stomach in, shoulders deep. Good. And we stretch the other leg. Good. And you're trying to really press the knee straight. So the leg wants to bend, you're going to try to keep it straight. And the other leg up. Good. Stiff, stiff scissor legs. Good. Made of metal. Good. And the other leg. Good. Now we do a few a little bit faster. You're going to go swap and pull. Let's not drop this too low yet. And swap and pull. And swap and pull. Pulling the stomach in. Last set. Swap and pull. And last one. And pull. And bend the knees in and rest. Good. All right. So moving on, we're going to add a couple more and just a little modification out of this. So I want you to just put your hands behind the head. And when we do that, palm on top of palm. Yeah? Good. Very nice. So we'll talk about this a bit and we'll like work this exercise. It's quite a hard one, slowly, slowly into the workout. So give yourself a little bit of a, a stretch here as we're just talking about things by having the elbows rest on the floor. And now she won't feel a stretch. But if you pull your ribs down all the way to the mat, she'll start to feel a bit more in her chest, right? So you're going to keep your chin down a little, stretch the back in, and she's going to keep her ribs coming down and the elbows. Good. So this is just a nice to open a bit from your chest. Then you're going to lift your elbows up off the floor. Good. And you're going to lengthen your neck and pull the ribs down here to lift up again. So we want that nice down on the front, up from the back. So the back really lengthens up. So try to at home really press your elbows up towards the ceiling and stretch up. Good. So I feel like you're going to press against something with your elbows. Lifting, lifting, lifting. And we go down to rest. So we just want to work on that upper body curve with the hands behind the head a bit. This adds weight to it, so it's harder. Good. Ribs down, elbows up, and now lift your back. Mm -hmm. Keep them quite wide. And lift. Good. So I want you to get into a position where I can just touch your shoulder blades here. And open your elbows a little wider. Keep those elbows wide. And now try to really press the elbows up by stretching from your back. Good. And all the way down. That's lovely. We're going to do one more and we're going to stay there. So we're going to lengthen the back and lift up by dropping the rib cage down. Mm -hmm. Good. Very nice. You can even open your elbows a little wider. Now we're going to try to lift the legs up. Good. Both legs together. And every time we're here, I want the heels together, toes a little bit apart. So you have a little a V here. And that wraps your bum a little bit. So squeeze your bum, pull the stomach in, and bend the knees into your chest. And see if you can keep your shoulder blades up as you're doing that. This is hard. So we're going to shoot the legs up, keeping the ribcage connecting to your pelvis, stomach scooping in. Stretch the thighs as far as you can, and exhale, pull the knees into your chest. We do two more. Reach out. So this is not the full exercise at all yet. We're just prepping the body for it. And pull it in. And reach up. And now we're going to stay up. And at home, 
Feel free to just bend your knees a little bit. And you can do that as well here, Lila. And you're going to just try to keep this upper body curved. And now the stomach is here. The upper stomach is holding her head up. And now her lower stomach is going to try not to let her pelvis move as your legs are going to go a little down and a little up. But now she fell down. So at home as well, I want you to really try to use that stomach and stay up. So stomach in and legs go down a little and up a little. Yes, do you feel that in your stomach? Good. Now keep doing that and what's trying to happen is your stomach wants to get longer. So the ribs and the hips are trying to run away from each other. Keep them together. Yes, and in. And do you want to go and have a little coffee break there? Let's not do that. So keep this working really short and then pull the stomach in. Oh, one more, Lila. Good. Pull the stomach in and exhale and now you get to rest. Hard work. <laughs> All righty. We're almost done, but things don't get any easier for the next one. So the last one of the series of five, we're doing the crisscross, okay? So put the hands behind the head again. Good. Very, very nice. And what you're going to do is we'll start with the legs down on the floor this time. So put one leg down, pull your stomach in, put the other leg down, just rest your feet. But keep your knees together so we can keep those inner thighs squeezing. Very, very nice. Okay. So even though we're here, let's keep the ribs down so that the stomach is short and the back is nice and long. Okay. So we're going to add a bit of twisting. So she's going to lift up now and keep the elbows wide and try to really lift up as high as you can get and now twist it towards the right. Good. Okay. Now, if she's twisting, I don't want her to fall there, so I want her to really think about pulling in and up at the same time. Good. And she's going to come back in the middle and take a rest. Good. She's going to lift up, and she's going to twist, but she's not going to fall off her mat as she's twisting. She's going to think about reaching the left elbow back. So don't fall off your mat, but twist upon yourself and come as high as you can. Yes, and come to the center and rest. So the common mistake is just to kind of fall off your mat and just kind of fall side to side. But you're actually trying to twist the upper body and twist the upper body. So come on up and think about reaching the left elbow to your right knee and the right elbow behind you. Good. And then how high can you curve up of the mat with your armpit on the right? Ugh. Yeah. And come back in the center and down. And we do it again. And we come up and we twist. And we're trying to keep the elbows wide. Now, watch that you don't push into your neck too much. So push your head back a little more, yeah? And then lift up from your back, yeah? The head does try to do a lot of this work and come back in the center, but we want this to do the work and come back down. <laughs> Good. Can we do one more? Coming up <laughs> and twist and center and down. I'm giving her still coffee breaks. Come on up and twist and center and down. So now I'm going to be a little meaner and we're going to move on a little bit more. So we're going to come up and twist, but she's going to lift her right leg. So at home as well, you're going to come on up. You're going to twist and put your right knee to your left elbow. Yeah. And you're going to really try to get that up there and twist the right elbow behind you more, 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 and come as high as you can. Now, we're not going to take a coffee break. We're going to bring the leg down and come in the middle. Keep your shoulders up off the floor and we do the other side. So twist. Good. Lift this knee in. Now keep twisting, 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 lifting, lifting, lifting. Joseph Pilates wanted these really slow and agonizingly painful. And down. And one more set. No coffee breaks. <laughs> Come on up. So we'll do one more without going down in the middle. So get it all together. Really get that stomach working. Lift up as high as you can. Now as you come in the middle, lift up. And then leg goes down, but don't go down yourself. Good. And then swap the legs and keep moving. Later on, the legs will move a little more vigorously. Good. And come in the center, and now you get to rest down. Good. Very nice. So after all that hard work, we're going to do the spine stretch forward. So let your feet go a little bit more away, but you can keep them a little bit bent still. And this roll up. So head up. Use your stomach. Good. All right. So bring yourself a little bit back on the mat so your feet can still be in the mat. Good. Straighten your legs and open the legs. Good. So at home, just using the mat as a bit like your grid, you're going to have your heels at the, uh, right at the uh, corners of your mat and then flex your feet. So the legs are really active. They don't get to just be all like relaxed in here. So the whole body is working. So this is the one where the hands are in front of you on the floor. Good. You're going to squeeze your butt really tight, almost like you're jumping up of it. Push your thighs down, lengthen the back, Drop your chin and slowly roll the spine forward, reaching your arms forward. Mm -hmm. Good. 
So go ahead and stay there a little bit and push your hands down onto the mat. Now what I want is to, there to be energy. I don't want her just to relax here. So you need to really pull your stomach in and up. Press your thighs down. So the thighs are going down and away. The stomach is pulling backwards and the head is going down. So she's trying to bend that spine as much as she can. Good. And then we roll up, lifting the stomach all the way up, all the way up on top of those tight hips. And relax. And squeeze and lift. Get as tall as you can. A little taller we can do. And exhale and reach your arms on the floor. Good. That's it. So we're trying to not to collapse the stomach, but really lift it up. So scoop your stomach in and up, in and up, in and up. Good. And roll back up. Very nice. And we're going to use another version of this. So that was Joseph Pilates' original version, but also we did do this one with the arms straight in front. You can keep your legs how they are and just lift your arms. So this is another nice version of adding the arms there. Lift up and squeeze. I want, when I say lift up and squeeze, I want physically there to be a, like she's growing taller in her waist. So the stomach is scooping and the back is lengthening. And then the head drops down and the butt stays tight. Good. And we scoop the stomach in. We reach with the arms and the legs and we pull the stomach in and up, in and up, in and up. And then she's going to roll up from all the way from here. Good. That's it. So go ahead and squeeze your bottom. Lift. <gasps> a little taller. And head down. Now keep the length so you're not crunching down on your vertebrae, but you're lengthening in and up. Good. And the head is going to go down towards your belly. Good. And then you roll it all up like you kind of bring your back into a wall again. One more. Squeeze your butt. Lift. Let me see you lift up a little more in the center. Good. Do your best at home and exhale all your air out. So Pilates is all about lengthening the back. We never want to just press down and crunch the vertebrae. So you want to constantly, even when you're bending the back, you want to keep the length in the vertebrae, and that's the work of the stomach. And then you're going to roll back up. Good. Beautiful. All righty. We're going to close the legs, and we're going to add an exercise today. So that's just the prepping exercise again. You're going to have to actually uh, scoot your bottom a bit that way because the mat is short, and then roll down using your stomach. Very nice. So this is called the corkscrew. It's actually a really hard exercise, so we'll just do some modified preps of it. So bend your knees in, and then using your stomach again, lift one leg. She's doing a fabulous job. This is her second lesson, just like some of you there. <laughs> and then we're going to straighten the legs up to the ceiling. Good. Squeeze your heels together and open your toes apart a bit. Good. Now, those legs are working quite hard, right, Lila? So they have to really lengthen up there so we're not, like, letting them just be heavy. So I want you to squeeze your bottom and wrap the back of your legs together a little more. So we're really working the hips and all the way from your bottom. The stomach is coming in. If this is too much for you at home, just soften your knees and bend them a little bit, especially if it goes to your back. But she's strong, so she can keep those legs there. So we're going to do a small circle, and the heels stay together. So imagine you have a mermaid's tail. Reach it up as far as you can. Pull the stomach in. We're going to do a small circle starting to the right, down, left, center, pause, and to me. And left, down, right, center, Pause. So that's a lot of work. Keep wrapping and squeezing. And we keep doing one one way and one the other way. And try to keep your stomach on the floor. Good. Keep doing it. Two more. It's okay. And if you need to, you can soften your knees a little and do it like this. And do a couple more like this where your thighs are going still around, but it's a little easier, a little more straighter. And the other way, we do one more set. So the important thing if you're doing the knees bend is that you're not moving your knee joint and pulling your legs like this, but you're actually moving the thighs away because that's what gets the stomach. So you press the thighs away, stomach pulls in and up. Good. One more set. Around. Keep the legs together. Good. So the weight of the legs go together to the side and stomach in. Head stays actually in the middle and in. That's hard work, right? You should see the, <laughs> the actual original version, and we'll get to that later. Good. Bend the knees in, have a little hug and rest. So when you're resting here, it's kind of nice to uh, pull in your shins, but at the same time, try to press your hips down and your tailbone down, so give your body a little bit of stretch or length and the spine down. Good. That's very nice. So see if you can just rock yourself into sitting from here. So press onto your feet and rock. Really, really nice. Okay, so we introduce another exercise called the saw. So go ahead and slide a bit down again in our little tiny mat. <laughs> and bring your heels into the corners. All right, so this is 
a twisting exercise and uh, adding a twist into what we did like the spine stretch forward. Now what is really important in this exercise is that you don't collapse and let the spine drop but we're long and curved at the same time as we're twisting because otherwise you're going to really just put pressure on your back and that's not what we want. Good. So you're going to lengthen the arms out to the side. Good. You're going to sit up really tall and pull your stomach in. And this time, actually, we're going to open the legs a little wider. Good. And flex your feet. So the feet are, again, pulling in. Good. So you're going to twist your body to the right. Good. And now you're going to imagine you have a saw on your le right, what is this? left hand. And you're going to saw off your right toe. And you're going to put your head down and you pull your stomach in and you're going to reach for that leg. And you're going to try to really twist your lungs around and exhale deeply. Good, and you're gonna lift up, deep breath, and come back in the center. Good, so we're gonna do it to the other side. So we're gonna twist here, and we're gonna exhale all our air out as we reach this right hand to the left toe. Good, so keep reaching your right hand to your left toe, and head down and stomach in. And lift back up, and all the way to the center. And we do that again, so twist to the right, now make sure your left butt stays down on the floor and you reach across diagonally, head down and you're trying to really twist the ribs and pull the stomach in and up, in and up, in and up, in and up and lift back up. Nice and tall here and come in the center and again we'll squeeze the butt, lift and we twist to the left and we exhale all the air out and we sit on that right bottom nice and deep, good and we're twisting, 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 and we lift up really long, long back, up, and back in the center. One more set. Lift and twist. Keep those feet flexing, working hard on the thighs, and keeping the left hip down again, and stretch. Good. Really try to pull your stomach in and, and get the ribs down and round. Good. And lift. Good. Take a deep breath as you're twisting, and make sure that you empty all your air out here. So these exercises now help you to really exhale deeply. So now you're really squeezing out the air from your right lung. Good. And lift up. And all the way in and relax. Good. Very, very nice. Good. Squeeze your legs together. Good. And bend your knees. And bring your bottom a little forward and roll back down. Good. So we're going to now pop you onto your stomach. So just go ahead and turn around. Good. And we do the, again, the bit of the swan prep. So the swans are back extensions. And you can, in the beginning, you can just put your forehead down and have your hands wider than the mat. This just helps you to not to get so tight on your back. And later on, you can bring your hands closer and more down. But start with quite wide with the hands. Bring your hands like short next to your ears. Good. Now, if you can, squeeze your heels together. Make your little mermaid's tail. Wrap your thighs again and squeeze your bottom. Pull your stomach. So I want the lower stomach to be lifted. If you just relax here, your back will sink. So if you let go of everything, your back will sink. Thank you for demonstrating. That's really good. So that everything is to sink in here. I want her to pull up her stomach, lengthen her back. Good. So the bottom is tight and the legs are reaching. That's gorgeous. So this stays like it is, and we're going to try to work on her upper back. So pull your shoulders together and reach forward and up. And you can keep your palms down, that's fine with me, good. And you're just trying to make this nice, beautiful curve, that's beautiful, and reach forward and down without letting your belly relax. So keep the stomach working, lift in and up in your stomach, pull your shoulder blades back, good. See how far you can reach your chest forward and up, and the legs the opposite direction, in the middle, a strong lifted stomach. So really pull in your belly and reach forward and down. So don't fall down, place yourself down nice and slowly. And again, reach forward and up. Pull your shoulder blades down and together. So really work the upper back and make sure you're not falling onto your lower stomach. So really pull in and up. Good and forward and down. We're going to do just one more. Later on, this one comes quite a difficult exercise as well. We do rocking in it and all kinds of nice things. Good. So there's always something to look forward to. But just starting to find our extension work without going into your lower back is what we want. And forward and down. Good. Go ahead and just press from your hands into a shell stretch. So your bottom goes to your heels. Very nice. And head down. Good. And again, you can bring your hands into your ankles. And what I want is for your to get the top of the head as close between your knees as you can. So try to really get into like, you know, I always tell everybody, imagine you're like a hedgehog. 
yeah? And you're trying to pop all these vertebrae, which would be your spikes, and press them out of your back. So you're trying to get them, and most of us get the spikes out of here and here, but then the lower back, they all disappear. So really get your tail down and try to lift up, yeah, like you're scared a little hedgehog, and you put your head in there in your shield, and then you gotta get your spikes up, good. And then we're gonna roll up into sitting. Good, very nice. And we're gonna turn around, and we're gonna bring the legs in the front, and we're gonna roll down onto the mat and just find the middle, good. So we'll do the shoulder bridge we did already last time, so you can just bring your legs a little closer. And this one, have your legs a little bit apart, and you wanna keep the feeling like you're squeezing something between your knees, like a small orange, and the ankles, good. Arms long, shoulders down, ribs heavy, and you're going to squeeze your bottom and roll the hips up. Mm -hmm. Good. And you're trying to keep your box square again here, so try to kind of check. So have a look at your hips at home and see if you can keep the hips still. Many times we have one butt is that is a bit not working as well as the other one, so just make sure that you kind of check that. And then we're going to roll down. As you roll down, don't forget to squeeze your orange. A little more relaxed on the upper back if we can. And again, roll up, good. And we're adding on a little bit. Now what I want is for you to drop your ribs down so we don't arch the back and really squeeze your bottom really tight, keeping the pelvis in and the tailbone up, good. So she can see if she can squeeze the orange here and then lift up the right leg, mm -hmm. lift it up to the ceiling, good. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flex the foot and we're gonna reach the leg down and squeeze our knees together. Yeah, and lift the leg back up. Now as you do that, try not to arch your back and drop it down one, two more times if we can and lift it up. So this is hard work. You can only do as well just the leg lifting up and down with the knee bend if you need to and lift up and bend the knee and slide that foot down. This is a lot of work on that bottom. So find your stability again, squeeze your bottom, keep the orange there between your ankles and the knees. Make sure you don't arch your lower back. Slide the left knee into your chest. Good, reach the leg up. Now reach the thigh, little turn out, back is as flat as you can, bottom squeezing like crazy, reach down. Make sure your right knee doesn't go out, and lift. We do only three. And reach down, and lift, good. Keeping the hips as level as you can, reach down, and lift. Bend the knee, place the foot down, keep the hips up, and I want a nice big roll. Nice and easy, enjoy the ride. Good, and release. Good, lovely work. Thank you, Leela, again, and thank you at home. So that was our second class from the series of five. Do remember that as we progress with the work, you can keep watching the same class over and over again until you feel like you are mastering these exercises as the next class adds a few more challenges again. So just keep at the class level that you feel is appropriate for you and move on when you're ready. Thank you.